In this video, I'm going to cover some of the best places you can find contraband in Starfield. This is one of those high value items that is always fun to look out for on your journey. And to me, I think it adds a little bit more danger to the world when it comes to landing on one of the planets in the settled systems. There are certain locations in the game where you can get a lot of these high value items quickly. And the best part of this is the chest for contraband at these locations replenish over time. So you can essentially run these locations over and over again for easy money. You can even learn how to make the drug Aurora from Neon so you can essentially become an intergalactic drug dealer. So I'm also going to show you guys how to do that later in the video. I will provide timestamps to each of the sections in the description down below. If you guys like this content, please be sure to like and subscribe. Now, to get started off, the easiest contraband chests that you can find in the game are simply at various city security stations. For example, if you head over to Neon Security, you'll find a room with a bunch of these kinds of chests. These will be used if you ever get captured by them and they will hold all of your stolen items. However, there is one that you can unlock that contains contraband items. I have traveled to all the various starports and the only locations that I have found that contain these chests are Gagarin and Neon. So it's possible that there may be somewhere else that I just have missed, but these are kind of the general locations where you can get them. And I'm unsure if they replenish as well. The next location is one that you can get fairly early on in the game, so it's a very good place for New Game Plus runs or just starting out on a fresh character. If you head to the Olympus system, there is the Almagas station. For those unaware, this is a zero-G casino that has been overrun by spacers. Once they are all cleared out, you will find a vault that has a contraband chest inside. You can check back here every couple of in-game days and you can keep looting this chest as well. For the next location, if you're looking for a bit of a challenge, you can head to the Red Mile in the Prima system. And behind the center point where you hit the button in the Red Mile, there is a locked hab. And once you hacked inside of it, you'll find a bunch of chests that contain loot and even a contraband chest. During my initial testing, I had originally thought that you couldn't loot this chest over and over again, but it turns out that I was able to loot the chest again after a couple of in-game days. So yeah, this is another one you can add to your runs if you're looking to get some money quickly. If you have done the Ryujin questline in the past, there is a certain hideout on Neon that you need to infiltrate to find a certain former coworker. The coolest part about this location, other than the fact that there is a contraband chest inside, is that you don't actually need to start the quest in order to get these items. If you head over to the grab and go restaurant, you can pick the key card off of the shopkeeper and simply walk into the hideout. The enemies inside are not going to be hostile to you, so you can quickly head upstairs, pick the lock and grab all of the contraband items. The next location is going to be Vulture's Roost and you can get to this by heading to the Jaffa system and finding Jaffa 4. This doesn't need to be initiated by a quest so you can go to this place at any time and this seems to be the Ecliptic Stronghold location and honestly it's miles and away the one location in the game where you can get the most contraband items in a single run. I'm talking like 30 or so you know different kinds of items. They're going to be scattered all over the tables and various chests littered throughout this area. The chests here do restock. However, any items that you find on the tables like Aurora won't restock. This is probably the best one for getting money quickly and you also get a ship for clearing this place out. So definitely go check it out. And the final point of interest that has a replenishable contraband chest is going to be at Masada 3 at the Ecliptic base. Those of you that finished the main story might recognize this location. I was surprised to find that you can actually go here and clear out the beginning portion of the enemies without progressing through the story at all. There is a huge dose of ecliptic enemies and guns and healing items are all over this place. On the bridge in the first main area of this location, you can find platforms that are suspended in the air. The contraband chest is on the higher one and it's recommended to have the boost pack training maxed out so you can reach this one.
And then finally, if you're looking to live out your Walter White fantasy and start creating and distributing Aurora, all you need to do is head over to Neon. If you remember from your first visit, you come across a fellow being arrested by security for trying to sneak Aurora out of Neon. You can talk to him at the security center and he will inform you that he is working for someone inside the city. Every damn crate. No, no, no. Hey, wait. You were there when those security assholes nabbed me. Please have a heart. You need to help me. Talking to the boss will allow you to take his role in the distribution process. Doing so requires you to join Xenofresh, who are the producers of the Aurora drug. You're the new applicant, right? <laughs> really? You, a doctor? Either you're grossly overqualified or a goddamn liar. That's not what's important, though. You know remedial chemistry and seem to be living and breathing. You're goddamn hired. The pay is better than anything you'll get on the streets. If you can last. Take this and put it on. Time to get to work. You're going to need to fill out an application, interview, and attend a training session at this employer. To be quite honest, this is probably one of my favorite side quests in the game. I had an absolute blast with it. But after completing the quest the first time, you'll then be able to repeat it after some time. And then once you do it the second time, you're going to unlock the Aurora recipe so you can craft it at any pharmaceutical bench. It's not limited to the one at Xenofresh. Most of the ingredients to create Aurora are pretty easy to come by except for the Chasm Bass oil. From the lore of the game, this is the only planet that has these creatures on it that you can get the resource off of. You can find the animals themselves under neon in the water, but to be honest, it's pretty difficult to hunt them and they don't really restock, especially if you leave after a certain number of days and come back, they're probably not going to be more there. However, you can buy this resource at a number of vendors within Neon, so it's always good to pick up as many as you can whenever you stop by the shopping center, so you can always craft this item. And that's going to do it for this video. I absolutely love the contraband system in the game, and I think it's kind of fun gathering all these high-value items and dumping them in bulk when I visit a trade authority. If you're on PC, I highly recommend downloading a mod that increases the contraband prices in the game because honestly i think the vanilla values are a little bit too low to justify the risk of carrying it on your ship especially when you get into new game plus or the later game you kind of need that money when you're like spending all of your credits on shipbuilding. let me know in the comment section below if i've missed any locations that have a bunch of contraband items so people looking for extra ones can get some help too thank you all for checking out the video and i'll see you in the next one